So you're thinking about moving to Reno, Nevada, or possibly just visiting the area in the winter months, and you're looking for some fun stuff to do. Well, in this video, we're gonna be going over some things you can do in the winter months. Some are gonna be free options, paid options, and things you could do with your kids, but these are gonna give you some good options in the winter months. If you're new to the channel and you wanna learn everything there is to know about Reno, Sparks, and Northern Nevada, make sure to the subscribe button and the notification bell. I get people who reach out to me just like you every single day looking to make the move to Northern Nevada, and I absolutely love it. So whether you're thinking about moving in nine days or 90 days, just send me an email, shoot me a text, give me a call, or schedule a Zoom. All the information will be down in the description below. I look forward to making the move to Reno, Nevada as easy as possible for you. So the first thing on our list, and I'm sure you probably guessed it at this point, is gonna be skiing and snowboarding. This is absolutely one of the best things you can do in the Reno or Northern Nevada area. We have some absolutely gorgeous ski resorts in the Reno Tahoe region. And my first and favorite is actually gonna be Mount Rose Ski Resort. Not only because it has a nice resort, nice lodge, it's super convenient. It's only about 20 to 25 minutes from my house in South Reno. So this is why I absolutely love it. And I would say it's one of the locals favorites because it's super convenient. You don't have to spend an entire day out there because you can get there fairly quickly. And if you show up early in the morning, it's not that packed, but you know, if you're going on a Friday afternoon, maybe even Friday, Saturday, Sunday, or especially a holiday weekend, it's going to be nuts, but it's going to be nuts at almost every ski resort. My second favorite is actually going to be North Star, which is located in Truckee, which is only about 40 to 60 minutes, depending on where you are in Reno, Sparks, or Northern Nevada in the Washoe County area. And last but not least is going to be Heavenly Ski Resort, which is another favorite of mine if you're looking to be in the South Lake Tahoe area, which is also going to be about 40 to 60 minutes away if you're staying somewhere in Reno or Sparks. And actually, there's one more that I absolutely love, but we don't go there very often because Kirkwood is a little further, but is an absolutely gorgeous ski resort. So like I said, if you like skiing or snowboarding, we have some really amazing resorts such as Mount Rose Ski Resort, North Star, Heavenly, and Kirkwood. I would say the only downside to skiing or snowboarding is that it's not cheap or that affordable. If you can get a ski pass for an entire season, this is the best value. But I would say if you're looking for something for slightly better value, skiing or snowboarding is not it because for a single day pass at a lot of these resorts, it can be anywhere from $150 to $250 for a single day pass. Another really fun one is ice skating. You're gonna to wanna to check out the Grand Sierra Resort because they set up an 8,000 square foot ice rink, which is really awesome. Cost about $17 for the time on the rink. And if you need a rental or if you have your own skates, it's only gonna cost about $10 to go ice skating, which isn't that bad. Another really fun thing during the holidays and the winter months, they're gonna have some seasonal items such as soups, s'mores, and some other fun food and drinks. I definitely recommend going ice skating at the GSR. Next up is one of my favorite winter activities, and this is snowshoeing at Chickadee Ridge. It's very easy to get to, and all you need is some snowshoes and some winter gear or winter clothing. You can get snowshoes typically earlier in the season from Costco, Amazon anytime, or even Walmart. But if you don't want to buy snowshoes and you just want to try them out first, you can easily rent them at Bobo's off of Moana. So Chickadee Ridge is located right off of Mount Rose Highway in the Tahoe Meadows area. Just plug it into your smartphone or possibly the GPS in your car and it's going to be basically driving all the way up to Tahoe but before you get to Tahoe in the Tahoe Meadows area you're going to see this long straightaway with a ton of cars parked on the side left and right. Only thing I say is definitely don't park in the highway you'd be surprised a lot of people still leave their car a little in the highway and you're going to get a ticket and you could possibly hurt someone so don't be that person. It's going to be about an hour hike a little bit longer give or take depending on how fast you are but once you get to the top, make sure you bring some bread or some bird feed. You know, definitely do a Google search and make sure what is safe for the birds to eat. Hold out your hand at Chickadee Ridge and a bird is going to fly into your hand. It's absolutely Instagram worthy and it's a really fun thing to do. And it's a beautiful and gorgeous surrounding. You can see Tahoe and it's beautiful. I absolutely love doing this. And you can even see one of the photos that I had of my wife holding out her hand and having a chickadee in her hand. And here are some other photos of beautiful chickadee. 
chickadee ridge next up is wild island family adventure park and i absolutely love taking my niece and nephew here in the summer months to go to the water park but i understand you can't do that in the winter months but don't worry they have a ton of indoor and outdoor activities including an indoor and outdoor mini golf area we've actually gone here with a ton of friends that are just adults and you can get a couple drinks play mini golf it's a really good time but don't worry they have a ton of stuff for your kids to do inside they have a huge arcade area bowling laser tag go-karts and more and don't worry they have a bar for the adults and they have food and i would say overall the drinks and the food costs are pretty reasonable i would say drinks are about five to seven dollars which is not that bad so like i said if you're looking for something to do in the winter months you're getting tired of staying in the house and maybe you don't like skiing snowboarding or possibly snowshoeing this is a good option so next up is a pretty basic option but i know people love going shopping and love going to the mall and my first and favorite is actually the Summit Sierra Mall located in South Reno. I would say the only downside to this mall in the winter months is that it's an outdoor mall. So if you're going from shop to shop, you're going to be walking outside. And if you can't handle the cold, it might not be a great option. But this is the only area in Reno or Sparks that has an Apple store. You have a Dillard's, a BJ's Brewery, which is pretty decent. You have a Schipolini's Italian food. And this is the only movie theater in South Reno. I think the Summit Sierra Mall is a a really good option if you live in the south reno area or like i said if you have to go to the apple store or dillard's it is a pretty decent mall the second mall is called meadowood mall which is kind of located in the heart of reno if you're looking for an indoor mall and you don't want to be outside in these cold winter months i completely understand meadowood mall is probably going to be your best option which is located there right off of virginia and mccarran they have pretty much every store you want such as Foot Locker, macy's jc penny's h m tilly's and a ton more they also have a cheesecake factory and i would say it's a pretty decent mall if you want to stay inside last but not least is another really nice mall but this is called the outlets at legends and this is technically located in sparks but it's in the same county as reno called washoe county and it's only about 15 to 25 minutes depending on where you live in reno so it's super convenient and i would say another downside to this area or this mall is that you have to walk outside to get to the other store so if you're trying to avoid the cold winter weather snowing or raining the outlets at legends might not be the best option but they have a lot of great stores here and they also have one of the newest casinos in northern nevada called the legends bay casino the outlets at legends is a good option if you're looking for a mall to go to even in the winter months it's typically not that bad to walk from store to store. Just bring a sweater, a jacket, and you'll be fine. Another fun thing to do that you can do pretty much in any month, but especially in the winter months, is you're gonna wanna check out the Nevada Museum of Art, which is located in downtown Reno. Another really fun one is the National Automobile Museum, which is a really unique and one of my favorite museums in the area. Last but not least, this is my absolute favorite because you can bring kids, friends with kids, and it's a really good time, but it's not only for kids. But they have some areas where kids can play Play. This is called the Discovery Museum, which is also located in downtown Reno, and it is a science museum, but it is definitely a good spot for kids. Another really fun center you're going to want to check out if you like the performing arts, musicals, philharmonic, or even plays is called the Pioneer Art Center, which is located in downtown Reno. Another really fun thing that the Pioneer Center has is called Pioneer Underground. I've seen a handful of comedians in this theater, and it is an awesome time. If you're looking for something to do that doesn't involve skiing, snowboarding, or or, you know being outside during the cold winter months I absolutely get it I would recommend going to the casino if you're old enough or even if you have kids you can just take them to the arcade or play some carnival games or maybe even go bowling depending on what casino you're at the Grand Sierra Resort has bowling arcade games and stuff for the kids to do such as some decent food options as well of course you can go gambling play a little blackjack win some money or most likely lose all your money on slots it's still a decent time and have a few drinks and have a good time with your friends and family. I think some of the best casinos outside of downtown Reno are gonna be the Grand Sierra Resort, the Peppermill, and the Atlantis. I think the Atlantis has the best buffet. It's called the Toucan Charlie Buffet, and they have really good crab and seafood, usually on Fridays and the weekends. So if you like seafood or crab, check out the buffet at the Atlantis. If you're looking for some more kids options in the casinos, every casino is pretty much gonna have an arcade, but if you're looking for some arcades or carnival games, I think the El Dorado and Silver Lake 
Legacy is a good option. And if you're looking for some musicians or possibly comedy shows, I've seen Joe Coy at El Dorado and it was an absolute blast. I went with a bunch of friends and we were absolutely dying laughing. It was a great time. I've also seen a handful of musicians and comedians at the Grand Sierra Resort. So there are a lot of options for the entire family. Last but not least is one of my favorite things to do is just drive up to Tahoe in the winter months. Lake Tahoe is absolutely gorgeous year round. Love going to the beach in the spring and summer months, but it is absolutely gorgeous in winter as well. There's obviously gonna be some free options and definitely some paid options. You know, Lake Tahoe is kind of a resort area depending on where you are. And it can be a little spendy because as you know, Lake Tahoe is not cheap. But if you're gonna go walk around on the Tahoe East Shore Trail or just walk around Tahoe in general, that's not going to cost you anything. But the really fun thing to do is if you're in South Lake Tahoe is definitely take the gondola up to Heavenly. It's a little spendy and a little pricey as well. And it can get a little busy at times, but walking Heavenly Village, going shopping or eating in the area, it is a really fun time being in Lake Tahoe during the winter months. I hope you enjoyed this video on some things to do in the Reno Tahoe area during the winter months. Some of these are free options, some of these are paid options, and some of these include the outdoors. So whether you're visiting or thinking about moving to the area in nine days or 90 days, just send me an email, shoot me a text, give me a call or schedule a Zoom. I look forward to making the move to Reno, Nevada as easy as possible for you.